guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with a super exciting unboxing video. Fierce Reads Macmillan sent me a giant box of ARCs that are coming out in the spring, so I'm going to share them all with you. There's a total of eight of them, which like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. So without further ado, let us get started. So I'm going to do them in order of publication. I don't actually know like the specific dates, but I have like the month and the year, so we're going by that. The first one is Forward Me Back to You and this is by Mitali Perkins and this is supposed to be released April 2019. It follows Katana King who is a teen jitsu champion and she's having a very difficult time coming to terms with a couple of secrets that she has from her past. And it also follows a boy named Robin Thornton who is an orphan from India and he's having a lot of trouble figuring out who he is and so he is very confused about how he is going to pick a college and determine his future because he doesn't know who he is. Robin and Kat end up meeting on a summer trip to help the victims of human trafficking and it's basically the story of them figuring out that justice and healing and their past and future are all entwined and it's basically the process of all that stuff, but I think it sounds really good. I'm excited to see where it goes. I also think the cover is like real cool, so I'm here for this one. The next one I have is called The Confessions of Laurel Graham, and this is by Adrian Kistner, and this is supposed to be released June 2019. It follows 17-year-old Laurel Graham, who has a one goal in life, and that is to become a world-renowned nature photographer. Her grandmother is a very big activist. She also takes nature pictures. She ends up competing in a nature photographer contest by the Fauna magazine, which her grandmother actually won when she was a girl, so she's very determined to follow in her grandmother's footsteps. And then her grandma takes her on a trip into the forest and they hear a bird call that they both don't know, and so they decide that they're going to figure out what this bird is, but then her grandmother gets in an accident and she's left in a coma, and this kind of rocks Laurel's world. Laurel's grandmother house ends up being put up for sale. The government is coming to destroy the nature sanctuary that she holds very dear to her heart. She also can't figure out what this mystery bird is, so it's basically the story of her coming to terms with her grandmother, being in a coma, all these things changing in her life, that kind of thing. But I think that the cover is really pretty as well. I'm intrigued to see where it goes. The next one I think I am the most excited for because I saw the cover like um, back in October when it first got like released or revealed or whatever and I was like oh my god it's so beautiful I want it in my life and then it was in my box but it is The Merciful Crow. This is by Margaret Owen. This is to be released July 2019. It's a fantasy novel which y'all know I'm not a huge fantasy fan but this one sounds really good. It says that there's a chieftain, a fugitive prince, and a too cunning bodyguard. The chieftain is trying to protect their people from abuse. The prince faked his own death. He offers the chieftain a deal that she cannot refuse to protect him from a ruthless queen and then he'll protect her people. And then the bodyguard is named Tavin and he would die for Jazz who is the prince. And I think, I'm hoping, that this is gay and the bodyguard loves the prince but like I guess we'll see once we read it but I'm still obsessed with this cover so I'm ready for it. The next one I have is called The Space Between Us. This is by Stacia Tolman and this is also supposed to be released July 2019 and follows two outcast best friends who are entering their senior year. Serena is very fixated on social issues and her teacher takes notice of this and decides to assign her a project. The project is to look at the spaces between us that occur through upward mobility. Melody takes on a mission of her own to be accepted on the cheerleading squad and to find a job and basically get out of her small town. The two girls find it very difficult to navigate their new worlds and it's basically them trying to figure that all out. So I'm guessing that it's going to teach us a bigger lesson about upward mobility and class, but we shall see once we get to it. The next book I have is called The Year They Fell, and this is by David Kreisman, and this follows five teenagers who were inseparable when they were preschoolers, but then they drift apart as they grow older, and then their parents all die in a plane crash, and it's basically them being the only people who understand what that feels like, and them sharing their secrets of their past, and the secrets that their parents were hiding from them, and then coming back together, that kind of thing. But sounds like it could be a very hard 
heart-wrenching contemporary, so it's gonna be a nice break from my murder, murder, stabby, stabby books I usually read. And this is also released July 2019. The next book I have is called The Last Word, and this is by Samantha Hastings. This is also July 2019. It takes place in 1861, where a woman named Lucinda Levitt is shocked when she learns that her favorite author dies before completing a novel that she's been looking at. She's very determined to figure out how the story ends. She asks her father's young business partner to help find the author's final papers. David doesn't want to really help Lucinda, but Lucinda is not somebody that you can easily say no to, so he ends up agreeing, and this sends them on an adventure around England, and it's basically them discovering themselves and secrets and blah blah blah. I think it's your typical, like, historical fiction kind of thing, so contemporary-ish, you know what I'm talking about? So we're gonna read this one, hopefully we like it, hopefully they fall in love and it's cute. The next book I have is The Traitor's Kingdom. This is by Erin Beattie. This is the third book in the Traitor's Kiss trilogy. I own an arc of the first one. I have not read it. Do not own the second one, The Traitor's Ruins, so I'll have to find that in order to read this one, but hopefully my library has it. Not going to give a synopsis of this because I didn't read it because I don't want to be spoiled for The Traitor's Kiss, so look it up on Goodreads if you're interested. And this is also July 2019. And then the final book that I have is We Are the Ghosts by Vicki Skinner. This is August 2019. It follows a girl named Ellie whose brother Luke ends up dying in a car accident and she doesn't know if she is angry at him or upset that he is gone because he ended up leaving his family a couple years ago, disappearing without any mention of anything or why he was leaving. And so she ends up meeting up with his best friend and his ex-girlfriend, and it's like them trying to discover what happened to Lucas. And they end up discovering who they are in the process. That's what the synopsis says. So again, I'm thinking your typical contemporary, but I guess we'll see. Alright guys, so that was my little ARC unboxing of the Spring 2019 package from Fierce Reads. Thank you so much to Fierce Reads again for sending me these books. I'm super excited to get to them. And let me know down below if you guys have read any of these. Well, you probably haven't because they're not released yet. But let me know if you plan on reading any of these when they are released. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!